up, guys? Patrick Boggs here, Southern Addiction Outdoors. I got my buddy Jordan with me. Our wives are somewhere. I don't know. They're getting ready. Uh, one of them's upstairs getting ready. Nolan just went out on the phone. So we're in the cabin up here. Uh, same place we usually stay up here. So we come in uh, last night. Uh, if y'all checked out the Snapchat, I know y'all definitely seen that. We came in last night, kind of chilled. We eat at Mills Diner. Uh, got in the hot tub and kind of just hung out for a little bit for real. That's being about honest. it. Relax. Uh, relax for a little bit. So we're getting ready now. The time is now 8.56. Uh, we're getting ready to go to the expo. Um, got about a 35, 40 minute drive probably. We're going to stop and grab a biscuit and possibly another backpack because we've got one backpack. It's just going to be camera gear and it's going to be aggravating. So we ain't really decided yet, but we may stop and grab another backpack. So. I was just gonna holler y'all and let y'all know what's going on. We'll probably vlog a little bit like on the way or whatever. So y'all just keep checking in. Uh, this will probably get posted Monday or Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday probably, uh, more than likely. So y'all just keep checking in. And uh, if you hadn't already, go out to Instagram at Southern Edition Outdoors. And the Snapchat is uh, Ski Outdoors. Go check those out. Cause we, we usually get on those more just because it's easier and quicker. So y'all make sure to go check those out. We'll holler y'all a little bit. Hey guys. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hit, we'll hit post production. Well, we just finished up breakfast. Got everybody in the car with us. We are pulling up to the expo center right now. Or we lost somebody out of on the way, Jordan. To breakfast? Maybe we just left somebody at breakfast? <laughs> no. Um, we're about to. I see. See, we're pulling up. Y'all pull up with us. You may stay in line with us too. Hey, we want y'all to feel like you're here. So next year, you'll come. So the line don't look bad as it did last year. Uh, well, oh, yeah, it does. It looked bad last year because we was at the front. Never mind. Look at that. Which they're not going in the same way they went yeah, the they last are. time. No, they're not. Okay. We are here. The Grande Event Center. What's up, guys? Yet again, we've lost Jordan and Samantha yet again. Uh, oh, no, there they are. I found them. There they are. So yeah, we're at the the bait box booth right now, checking out some stuff. So uh, check out these frogs. These things are massive. That's crazy. So yeah, they got all kind of stuff. So as you can see, there's 800 million people here. Uh, we ain't even. We just walked in the door literally. So now, oh, we're gonna pet the 18 pound rabbit. Apparently that's the thing here, so. It is! I don't know if y'all can see the birds or not. They've got an eagle owl down there, it's pretty cool. So, but apparently, apparently me. We gotta stand around for this. Jordan them's over looking at some, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they what they make over there. I can't really see. We're in line to pet the rabbit. So. Oh, look at the pretty rabbit. Look how awesome it is. Okay, we just gotta pet it. I think we're just trying to take it home. I'm not sure. I just want to pet it too. It's crazy. Wow. Right, now we're going over here. Um, definitely probably going to check this out here in a little bit. More than likely. So. Yeah, probably going to probably gonna check them out here in a little bit. See what's up on them. So, Like I said, we will probably holler around a little bit. Actually, we're going to go over here and see what Jordan's doing. We're going to go over here and see what Jordan's doing. So We found, we found Jordan finally. Go Crow debuted on January the 10th, uh, first come out to the public. So we've been been doing stuff with this Go Crow for over a year. It took eight months just to design the sale. And um, it's got, so far it's got crappie, it's got bass, musky, and a catfish. <laughs> and walleye. Yeah, I like walleye. Uh -huh. These makes are custom painted. 
Oh, wow. They, they have a very distinctive sound. It, like I said, it took him over eight months for a sound. The clack instead of a click. Yeah. When this bait rises, it rises up like this instead of like this. How deep of water do you have? Yeah, they go to 12. They go to 12. Yeah. Uh, the What's fish? the shallowest one you have? They're all the same. Oh, all they're same. all the same. Okay. So you pretty much just, you, work, you count you it down? You can work it anywhere in the water column you want to work okay. it, depending, okay. on your, depending on your real speed. Okay. And how, you know, right here it is in the pool. Okay. Um, Y'all can obviously hear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I ended up. Three? Yeah, she's not, she wasn't looking. <laughs> uh, also, oh, yeah, in this awesome. video, it's got a it's got a 130 pound fluorocarbon leader and 80 pound braid. It's still doing that much work. Really? Yeah. Okay. I actually just had it. I mean, we're busting guys. We're not gonna go buy a reel just to yeah. go to swim pool and some oh, bad yeah. It's got to work for me all the way around. Oh yeah, honestly. So y'all are y'all are mostly straight yeah, busting. Yeah, we, okay. that's what we got. Okay. My dad probably got it for Okay. But yeah, these baits are made to design. They're they're made. To take the raft that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still smaller than the bass fish. Right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely digging this color right here. I'm going I'm to I'm show y'all this color right here. That, uh, this is Alabama Frog. That right there, actually. This is Alabama Frog. That's the name of it. I'm actually digging this color right here. Uh, and then the, actually, the, the one that Jordan just had. And then actually, the one that Jordan just had is their Alabama Swamp Frog. Yes, sir. Uh, and y'all know how I am about a crawl color. So that's pretty <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to ask you real quick, where can, they find your, where can everybody find y'all at? Uh, JSBOutdoors.com, uh, or you can just go to Facebook and uh, look up JSB Outdoors. So Y'all got that? Y'all make sure y'all remember that. Uh, so y'all make sure to remember that. Go check them out. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, I'm telling you right now, it's definitely different. I mean, it's, it's definitely, definitely something different. Uh, okay, there it is right there. Okay, this is their guide service this for guide musky, service for smallmouth, musky. crappie, and catfish. Yep. Okay. Ooh. All right, where y'all out of? Kentucky. Kentucky, okay. Southeastern to central Kentucky. Ooh. All right, so we might have to... We there's might some, have there's to, some pictures over here you can show that thing. We may have to make our way to Kentucky soon and uh, try this out. We're going to show y'all some pictures of some of their catches, actually. So here's some of their, their catches recently. Uh, this, is, this is a custom Moab made for three doors down. For the okay. Better Life Foundation. Okay. Um, here's a picture of Brad, yes. Brad Arnold. Okay. Brad Arnold's in the middle. He's the lead singer of Three Doors Down. Yep. This is Jeff, the owner, and Shauna's the owner of JSP, and I'm their flunky. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Awesome, awesome. So we're definitely going to get a business card, guys. Get this one, too. This um, one's got the, uh, the website on it. Okay. All right. Uh, so they, we're going to give them we're going to give them the Whitney, obviously. Yeah, Thank you so much, stuff. So, uh, oh, yeah, hi. yeah, nice, nice to meet you. you. So, like I said, we're here, connected with everybody. Y'all make sure to go check them out online. Okay, it's good deal. Thank and, you. Uh, Are you going to post this on Facebook? You too. Um, deal. So, y'all go check this out online. Check them out. Make sure to pick up some of these crawls. Because I'm probably fixing to buy a couple of them. So, y'all make sure to go pick up some too. We'll see y'all in a little bit. What's up, guys? Everybody knows that I'm subscribed to him and I watch his channel all the time. So uh, y'all make sure to check these covers out. I'm actually fixing to pick a couple of them up myself. Um, I hadn't had a chance to do it yet because we've been so busy. Hadn't ordered any online. But as y'all can see right here, this is one of the biggest reasons I'm buying them. Um, because they float. So like I said, y'all make sure to go follow Basby and fly the boat. Yes, several times. So y'all make sure to keep up with everything. We'll hog y'all a little bit. What's up guys, this is Patrick here, Southern Beach Outdoors, as you can see, y'all see where we are at, so we're going to talk to this man, see what he has to say about it. Hey guys, uh, good talking to this man, I'm Roger Perkins with Custer Lures, uh, if you're unfamiliar with our company, we've only been out a couple of years, uh, you can look us up at CusterLures.com, uh, we're endorsed by Kyle Monty off the Elite Trail, Cliff Crochet on the MLF, he just signed on with us, we got a lot of good products. And what we did, being a spinnerbait and jig company, we took everything we made and we kind of tweaked it a little bit to where something about it is unique. Yeah. Like, our, yeah. like, everybody's got a spinnerbait, everybody's got a jig. Everybody's got a jig. Anybody so, at home can make a jig now. Like that's, so. that's right. Yeah. So what we did on a spinnerbait is we went to a lighter wire, so all our spinnerbaits are built on a 30 millimeter frame. Okay. And we also
also have some unique exclusive colors to us that no other manufacturer makes. Yeah, I um, uh, actually I hate to interrupt you, but I, I actually purchased two stairways. Uh, I don't know if I got the last color or not, but I had a uh, wait, you got the stairway still? She's, I think she's buying them. <laughs> yeah, she's buying them, but um, there was one of the colors that I wanted to show y'all. I think yeah. it was splatterbacks. Yeah, the one of the splatterbacks in this yeah, color. Um, it's one of their new colors, and I just wanted to show y'all that. I thought, I mean, it looks amazing. Uh, it's got a painted willow on it. Um, that's a, to me, that's a great color. Uh, that's definitely unique, and definitely not something you're going to see, you know, everybody else out in front of the ground. That's right. We, we took several of the good crank bait colors yeah. and, and modeled them after the crank bait. So, you know, you got this, this splatter back crank bait, so we want a splatter back and spinner. We also had a baby car. Between now and March, baby carp is probably one of the top sellers that we have. But people put a green pumpkin chunk on it, dip it in orange a little bit. They slow roll it on the bottom so it imitates the pumpkin fish coming through the rock. Yeah. It catches a lot of big fish on Okay, it. so I'm going to ask you, because um, I have several different ones. Um, and actually, they, they've got more people working here, it's not just him. He was the only one that wanted to get on YouTube. So, everybody else is cheap. He was the only one that wanted to be able to do that. So, um, <laughs> but no, what, what is your preferred spinnerbait approach? I have a couple and I don't have a preference okay. other than what I'm doing with the spring baby at that time. Uh, a lot of times in the spring and the, and the grass or crawling on rock, I'll use the twin tail trail. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the fall when I want it more streamlined, I'll use a single tail uh, rug because yeah. I want it to be more compact. And I want it to uh, imitate a bait fish a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's and that's kind of what I do. Okay. Um, I, mean, I, I know a lot of them. There's thousands of dollars out there, guys. Right? Um, but like I said, if y'all haven't checked it out, they have to check it out. Um, they also do their shaky heads. They have their pole model heads. Um, they have all their jigs. I don't know. He can answer this for me. I don't know about all their jigs, but I do know these right here. They've already got the swagger tongues on there, so y'all know that's what's up. Um, like I said, if y'all can see all these jerseys, it's just amazing the, uh, the stuff that they're doing here. I actually want to show y'all, this man right here, I don't know whose it is, he sent him a picture of a calico bass. And if y'all look at that, that's literally the scales on a calico bass. Like, he literally mimicked, I mean, just, that's crazy. Um, and then he's got another one over here that's a God Service jersey. And um, it's actually got the God's picture on the back of the jersey. Like, to me, that's just so crazy. Um, so y'all can definitely go and see y'all. I will be wearing a BBA jersey this year, um, jersey and me. So y'all be sure to check that out. Uh, make sure to follow them, like them, all that good stuff. Um, we've actually got we're at the East Tennessee Fishing Expo. This is Saturday, so this is day three. If you're here, come by. Make sure you get some some uh, coupons. They've got some ten percent off coupons out here. Uh, make sure you meet with Jimmy and talk to these guys. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm really excited. When I came here this year, I was definitely looking for a new jersey. Um, so I'm kind of excited that we run into each other because now I know who I'm getting my jersey from. Um, he said right now y'all before we turn around to run through two, four, five, six. Okay. And now he said after the show it may be six or seven because he said it's it's been crazy. So. Um, so y'all make sure to go ahead and get your orders in, and uh, we will holler at y'all a little bit. I want to thank Jimmy for, for letting me stop in and do a video with him, and uh, we will holler at y'all later. See y'all. Hey guys, Patrick Box here at Southern Big Spin Doors. Y'all know what it is. We're at the East Tennessee Fishing Expo on Saturday. Uh, this is day three for these guys. We're in the K-9 Fishing Booth. Um, I 
personally have used K9 fish on a couple times and I love it. This is Landon with K9 Fish and he's going to kind of tell you a little bit about some of our stuff and uh, where to find them at on social media. So I'm going to let Landon take it over here. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm Landon Albert. Uh, here over at the booth we've got our original K9 fluoro. It's going to be a fluorocarbon base, a little bit of nylon blended in, more towards moving baits, anything you're carrying the reel. And we also carry a 100% fluorocarbon. It's going to be more like your cigar and physics or something. Twenty dollars up to twelve pounds, and then all the way into we carry eight strand and nine strand braids, and pink, green, and black, and also a yellow. Uh, basically, if you need a fishing line, come by the booth. You can find us at Canine Fishing Line on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, appreciate it. Come by. Thank you, later. And actually, uh, y'all are definitely gonna see some pictures of this here soon. I'm fixing to buy some, so y'all will definitely be uh, getting a. I'll probably do a review on it, y'all know I've used it before, but I'll probably will still do a review on it like I do everything else. So um, be sure to check that out, follow me on social media, and do a whole on a little bit.